This tutorial is part of a YouTube course playlist and a Udemy course. You can access the first phases of this course on YouTube or the whole course at Udemy. Links to both can be found in the video description. We could describe Docker as a platform and tool designed to make it easier to create, deploy, and run applications using containers. So containers are lightweight, standalone, and executable packages that contain everything we need to run an application, including the code, runtime, libraries, and dependencies. In this course, we're going to be utilizing Docker to host our database for our project, both the test database and the development database. Like I said, Docker is a platform or tool that allows us to run applications using containers. So instead of installing software directly on our computer, we can install software in containers. To visualize what we're going to be doing here within this project and why we're using Docker. So let's imagine Docker is, is right here. Okay, so this is Docker installed on our computer. Docker is going to allow us to create containers. So we can create these individual containers. So inside of our containers, we can run software. So here in this course, we're going to be creating a database, Postgres database. We're going to install that with inside of that container. So we're going to host the Postgres database within a container. Our main project will of course be running outside of Docker in a, a Uvicorn server. Like we explained earlier, our fast API application will be running within our Uvicorn server. Now we can place fast API within a container. We could do that. We're not gonna do that at the start of this project, but if we were to deploy this application, we could definitely do that. So our fast API application will have access to the database within the container and the database will run like a, a normal Postgres database within the container. Eventually in this project, we will have multiple Docker containers running, one for the development database, a test database, and in addition to that, running additional tools, for example, AdMiner, which is going to allow us to interact with our databases using a graphical user interface. So there are really two technologies here that we need to understand with Docker, and that's the Docker image and the Docker container. So an image is a lightweight standalone and executable package that contains all the necessary components to run an application. That includes the code, runtime, libraries, and any dependencies. So images are created using typically a Docker file, which specifies the configuration and dependencies needed for the application. So what we have here is something called uh, Docker Hub. So most of the images is images that we're going to be using comes from Docker Hub. So you can go to Google, type in Docker Hub. Let's go for it, Docker Hub. So this is where all the official images will be placed. So we're going to be using a Postgres database. So we just SQL. So we need to find the official Postgres SQL image. Uh, so let's go for official images. I've typed that in wrong, haven't I? That's why. Okay, so here we go. So it's been downloaded a few times, over 1 billion. So what we're gonna to need to do is download this image. That's the first step. So the image gets downloaded into, uh, into Docker, into the Docker space, or Docker environment. So we now have the image available. So we have this image now available here in Docker. So from this image, we're going to create a container. So remember this image is a lightweight standalone executable package, which can then be turned into a container. So a container is a runtime instance of our image. So we download the image of Docker, which is essentially everything, sorry, we download an image of, in this case, Postgres, which is essentially everything that we need to get it started. And then what we do then is we then load it up and that then turns into a container. Like I said, a container essentially is just a, a runtime instance of this image. So we're just running this image in a container. So now we've downloaded the image from Docker Hub and we've run it now in a container. Now Postgres database has started. So in addition to that, what we also want to do potentially is to add some additional instructions for our image so it runs in a specific way. So that's really the, the main process or workflow that we need to consider when working with Docker. We need to download an image, 
Now this image might come from, be from anywhere, we can build our own images, but we're using the official images in this case. So we download the Postgres image, we then create some different settings that are going to be needed for us to manage, connect and work with our Postgres container. And then we go ahead and create that container. Like I said previously, containers can be started, stopped, paused, removed, and we use to lie Docker commands for that. So in summary, Docker images serve as a template or blueprint for creating containers.